A study by Ebon Foundation found that a family in the national capital region needs over 25,000 pesos per month to afford a decent living. According to Ebon Foundation, a family of five would need more than 1,100 pesos for their daily expenses. This is far from the current minimum wage of 570 pesos in the capital. And factoring inflation, Ibon Foundation says the current minimum wage in Metro Manila is only now worth 482 pesos. This is not far from the Banco Central's estimate of 489 pesos as of the end of 2022. Meanwhile, data from the Philippine Statistics Authority found that inflation for the bottom 30% income households across the country rose to 9.7% in January year-on-year year, from 9.4% in December of 2022. Now, sir, you you give a specific amount, no, one thousand one hundred sixty-one or close to twenty-five thousand a month. This is more than double the minimum wage right now. Can companies afford to increase and pay uh, people in this way? What can specific? I mean, what can we even be doing here to bridge that gap? Um, again. There's such a problem with not having enough high-frequency data. But just take an example, using the most recent um, establishment data of the government from 2020 at the height of the pandemic, actually a 300 or more peso wage hike could be afforded by medium and large enterprises with maybe okay. about a 25 to 30 percent cut in their profits. It's only micro-enterprises that would have difficulty giving that wage hike. So I think um, we don't know how things have developed since 2020, but if that was the worst of it and if we hold on to government claims that things are improving in the last couple of years of reopening, then presumably a much higher wage hike is actually affordable right now.